Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. My name is Aaron. My student's number is 230-573. So, in this video presentations, I would like to present my PowerPoint. The title of my presentation is The Comprehensions of How to Write a Paragraph Describing People, Things, and Places. The Skill of How to Write a Paragraph Describing People, Things, and Places. And of course, with such a good manner. This presentation is to fulfill my assignment in basic writing lesson lectured by Mem Doi Nupita, SPDMPD. But before we continue to the presentations, I want to show you guys the outline of my presentation. First one is describing people. Second, guess who. Third, write a paragraph. Fourth, describe, describing a people. Five, guess what. And the last one is describing people. Next. First, describing people. Ah, In this section, we will learn about how to describe people's appearance and their personality. Learning how to describe people is an important skill in writing so that we can form an essential writing like such as writing and a compelling stories. This is some adjective that we can use to describe someone's personality. They are honest, tall, shy, funny, outgoing, nice, and many many more guys. And there are also some adjectives that we can use to describe someone's appearance guys. For example, they are cute, pretty, and beautiful to describe the, effect, the attractiveness tall and short to describe about height. they are also thin, slim, and muscular to describe about weight, and much more. You guys can think about it by yourself. Uh, there are many other adjectives to describe people's appearance and personality, which I can't explain it all, but don't worry guys, this is a very interesting subject to understand. Second one is guess who. So I'm going to explain about guess who now. So guess who is how to describe your friends and relatives without telling their names. These are the example of guess who. You're going to describe someone in the form of paragraph which is long and in the form of list which is more I prefer because it's easy and short. First is personalities. He is a nice person. He is a smart. He is uh, easygoing. He is like to help others. He is a good leader. Appearance. He is a at the first time. He is wearing a... He's wearing a glasses. Second personality is, he is an impatient person. He is a, he's easy to get cranky. She is a good listener. She is an appreciative person. And she is very diligent. Her appearance is, she looks fierce at the first time. She had a mature sap sapodilla skins. Uh, tan skill. Tan skins. I can't tell you who are they because I still don't have any permissions to say their name in front of public, especially on the internet. So, sorry everyone, but it is very easy to guess for who, for my classmate. Ah, so, if you are my, so, if you are one of my classmates, I bet you can easily guess it. Write a paragraph. This is the example of how to describe uh, people by paragraph. Let me read it for you guys. Uh, Edward Kenway. Captain Edward James Kenway is a fiction character from Assassin's Creed Black Flag series. He was a Welsh-born British privateer turned into a pirate and also a member of the Assassin's Order. Edward joined the British Royal Navy early in his life and once accepted, found himself stationed in the West Indies. He, he is a tall-looking man and has a very muscular body. Very selfish and ambitious make him one of the fierce pirates in the Caribbean. He is a free man and loves to be free, so he and his friends create a port named Nassau for liberate people. He is very strong when fighting. Some say he has the power of 10 men in his arm. But even though there, there is no man alive when facing him, he is very gentle to women. To women. He, he is a husband of a father of his one daughter. Some say he has a, he has a son named Haytham, but I don't really know about it. He is a captain of a frigate named Jack Doe. He is a Spanish trader. No, he is, but it is a Spanish treasure fleet named El Dorado in previous, in her previous name. He is a good navigator. Even a monster like Man of War can fly like a little bird, fast and steady in his arm. He also a fine cannoneer. Every shot hits the salvo. He also a master of boarding vessel. No ship shall escape from his eyes. Eventually, he dies in the age of 42, guys. Describe an object. In the writing process, you will have a chance to describe an object. Uh, and there is a several things we have to concern in writing in the object. The first one is, what does it look like? So, describe about shapes, texture, color, uh, material, and size of the objects. Second one is, how do you use your sense to react to the, to the following items? How heavy is this item in your hands? And how does it smell? Does it have a taste? And others. 
Now, mm -hmm. the third one is with the value, guys. This could be a little bit sentimental for a certain people because you will describe about how precious is this object to describe. Maybe the described object was given by someone special to you. Who knows, right? Who owns it? In the writing, especially like novel and stories, the owners of the object is very important, guys. And you might be named, and you might push, and you might be push, and you might put the name of the owner on your describing pros on on your describing writing. Why? For example, this is a gold belong to the giant in a cave of the forest, guys. Nah, you get my point? Maybe I talk too fast because I only have 10 minutes in presentation. Sorry, guys. What is the purpose? The last one. Object can be like subject or people. So they have a full of trivia and secrets. So to make your writings becoming more interesting, so make sure to write down its purpose on the describing paragraph on your writing, guys. All right. Number five is guess what? So in this sections, it is similar with the second one, which is guess who. But instead of describing a people, a, a person, you are describing an object or a thing, or a things you know. Ah, uh, and in this sections, I put the answer so you guys could know the answer. Ah, uh, about that, why why do I put the answer? Because object who different with the people. Ah. Uh, we shouldn't care for the object's privacy or if we still want to respect objects or their privacy, uh, people will say as map, right? Six, the last one is describing place. So in so it, so this is the last part of my presentations. It's about describing place. You can describe a place by putting its locations, environment, history, even their ecosystem, guys, ecosystem, guys, such as plants and trees animals and insects, many things you can describe about the place. So in this example, it's about the paragraph describing about Raja Ampat. It's a very nice place, good for traveling and vacations for family guys. Oh no. Alright, let me read it for you guys. Raja Ampat is a group Raja Ampat is a group of island which names comes from local myth known as the Four Kings. The four magnificent islands are considered to be one of the world's lastly wild, diverse locations. Raja Ampat consists of a number of tropical island treasure, and amongst the sea renowned as a home to richest marine biodiversity in the world. Located the located within the coral triangle, Raja Ampat is a sanctuary for a number of coral and fish species that are rapidly disappearing. Wow, this island comprises over 100, 1,500 minor minor island. That surrounds four major islands that are Miso, Salawati, Waigeo, and, and Batanta. Raja Ampat provides the best, provide the best underwater experience, and the reason for the great variation of underwater species are many. However, the most important reason being the natural current the, that follow, that flow through Raja Ampat is connected with the countries that are part of the Coral Triangle. This country include East Timor, Solomon's Island, the Philippines, Malaysia. And New Guinea in and Indonesia. Raja Ampat is a very cool place, guys. It's more like Caribbean but without uh, Europe territory. But each of them have their own plus and minus. All right, everyone. I think that's all about my presentations. Thank you for you guys' attention. Sorry if I had a mistake. Uh, sorry if I had a mistake and bad pronunciation, guys. And maybe I'm talking too fast and blur. I'm sorry guys, I only have 10 minutes in presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a nice day everyone. Thank you.